Manchester United versus Arsenal. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's cue that intro. Oh no, and welcome back to the Match Day Live, and it's me, Dan, back again. And this weekend, Manchester United face uh, Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. It is the half 12 kickoff on Saturday, so we've got the first game of the weekend. Uh, so the team I've gone for, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, really. Uh, the only good thing that we've got McTominay and Varane back, um, and obviously Ronaldo, um, but apart from that, I'm not too sure what we're going to be playing, to be honest. Um, hopefully, you know, we might get uh, Hannibal might be playing. I, I, there is talk of Hannibal playing, but I don't think he will be playing. I mean, in this such a big game, I think Matic and McTominay will be in straight in, uh, obviously, because Paul Pogba is now injured and we don't have any more centre midfielders uh, so who can play there. So, yeah. Uh, so there's that, and obviously for, uh, Fernandez. I think Sancho will start, and obviously Alango on the left hand side. Because again, um, yeah, <laughs> Rashford. We won't talk about that. So let's talk about. Let's get into the game, and let's talk about the last last league result, which of course was the Liverpool game, and we lost four <laughs> nil. To be honest, I saw it coming. Um, you know, unfortunately, you know, with Ronaldo, Ronaldo up top, and obviously we lost Pogba in the first couple of minutes anyway. Uh, to, well, to be honest, he didn't really do much in the first couple of minutes anyway. Um, but we did go down 1-0 uh, all in like the first five minutes. This is just a good through ball um, to Salah, and he put it on a plate. Uh, well, Salah, Salah just put it in. Uh, not Sal uh, Salah, yeah, it was just good through ball to Salah and then Salah put it on a plate for Luis Diaz. And yeah, we had Delo playing left back for some reason, which I thought was a really stupid decision. Um, I don't know why he was playing there. I don't know why if Tellez might have been injured or something. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can remember that. But, uh, but yeah, uh, we lost. Uh, so Delo and uh, Maguire, um, that game, you know, I feel sorry for Delo because he doesn't really play left hand side. I know he played uh, that down out on that left hand side for AC Milan, but you know playing on the left hand side for AC Milan is a totally different thing. Whereas you know United, <sighs> yeah, with Maguire, oh, it was just so poor. He stepped up as well. He, you know, he's the only f defender he stepped up for that through ball, and he, you know that was just straight through. And Diaz just put it straight in. So then that was one nil. Uh, and then literally a couple of minutes later, we lost, like I said, we lost Pogba. And then, like I said, we lost, uh, we we kind of lost ourselves a bit. Um, although it was, I'm not going to lie, it was a world-class ball from uh, Mane. It was just a uh, first touch, world-class ball uh, across to Mane. And obviously, Sane scored, uh, Sane, uh, Salah scored. Um, so, yeah, that was pretty much 2-0. And we got to half-time 2-0. And that was a good thing. Uh, they brought on Sancho, which I think was a, a stupid not to play Sancho. I think um, it was unlucky, um, Sancho. But obviously, um, there's no doubt that he should be playing uh, this weekend against Arsenal. Um, if he doesn't, then why not? I do not know. Um, but yeah, we are. Uh, we uh, we we started the second half a bit better. I'd say uh, we started getting the ball a bit more. Um, it wasn't like, like, you know, it, it wasn't that great. I mean, we had the chance where Rashford was through on goal. Um, it was originally given for offside, but, um, it would have been given because he was onside. Um, but he, again, it was a good save from Alisson anyway. So that was pretty much it. That was our only good chance in that first, in that second half. So then, second half yeah, again, just another counter attack. Um, Sane uh, was just across into Sane, and Sane just placed it into the bottom net. So then, that was that was three nil, and then literally again counter attack. Sane, uh, Sa not Sane. Why do I keep saying Sane? Um, Salah was through on goal, and he scored. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty much it, really. And yeah, we just lost it there. Uh, so yeah, four 0 and to be honest, you know, it took 
uh, like Hannibal and Ganacho came on and they showed how to play for United because Hannibal, you know, came on, made some really good tackles, and you know, it just, it just, you know, why didn't, you know, why can't the other teammates play like this? You know, it's a Liverpool game. You know, put the tackles in. You know, get them yellow cards. Make them and you know, make them work for it. But again, <clears throat> again, it was just one of them. It was just one of them games, and yeah, it's just unfortunate. Um, so yeah, that, not much to say really. We lost four nil. We saw it coming. Um, the only good thing is that you know, um, what's his name played anyway. So um, you know what you know. Uh, yeah, oh, I don't know. I, I'm, I was just flabbergasted. Uh, so, yeah, on to this weekend. We do have Arsenal. Arsenal themselves, they won 4-2. Uh, very very uh, convincing 4-2, actually, against Chelsea. Although Chelsea didn't really play their main team, did they, really? I didn't think uh, that game. But, yeah, uh, it was one of them games where, you know, if Arsenal could have lost... You know, they should have lost on paper, but they won in the end. So they're on good spirits. Obviously, they've just beaten us, uh, Chelsea. So they're in good spirits, like I said. And my door is closing itself. Um, yeah, so they're on, like I said, they're on good spirits. So they'll be uh, up for this game this weekend. Whereas United, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see what happens. Talking of United, we did get the confirmation of Eric Ten Hag to be... Uh, the new manager of the Manchester United uh, club of or new manager of Manchester United, and again, you know, we kind of saw it coming anyway. Um, it, you know, we was waiting for the confirmation, and we got it in the end. And to be honest, it, they kind of came out with it because obviously they just wanted to, uh, you know, they just wanted us to, you know, cheer up us up a bit with the confirmation of him. But again, it's going to take him at least. Uh, at least a year or you know a year and a half to get him playing uh, good football so you know whatever happens in the next season is you know is, is whatever happens in the next season is a bonus you know if we we need to win a trophy simple as that he needs to win his trophy in his first season i know it will be hard but he needs to win one otherwise you know there will be question marks and he needs to be up in the top four. Um, he needs to be, you know, up in the top four. We need to at least challenge what, maybe four third or something like that. Uh, but we definitely need to get somewhere um, with him. So there we go. Uh, to cheer us up even more, it would be even better if we can uh, beat Arsenal this weekend at the Emirates. Uh, but... I've got a funny feeling Arsenal are just going to terrorise us personally. I know they lost the last three games apart from the Chelsea game. Um, but, you know, Arsenal at the Emirates. OK, you know, we're going to have Varane and McTominay. A, 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 having McTominay back is a huge uh, bonus for us, I think. Because if McTominay plays like he can play, like he he, he will dominate that midfield uh, for us. So if he can do that, that would be fantastic. But obviously... Um, yeah, I think I think most of our players have just given up for the rest of the season anyway. So uh, top four had gone anyway. Uh, obviously, if if Arsenal lost um, against Chelsea at the weekend, uh, Chelsea on Wednesday night, then maybe we could have maybe get maybe sniped to the top four. But I don't think it's going to happen. You know, we've got we've got Arsenal, we've got Chelsea after this as well. I think we, the Chelsea games at home. Um, and is it next Thursday as well, which is a bit of a weird one because obviously they're playing in the in the FA Cup final. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. We're playing next Thursday, and then I think we're playing at next Monday as well. I think we got a Monday night game. Uh, so we got yeah, I think we got Thursday and then Monday. So yeah, we got a couple uh, big games ahead of us. You know, if we can finish the season strong then, you know, that would be good. But obviously, it is United and anything can happen. And I don't think, um, I don't think, you know, I don't think we're going to finish the season strong. I think we're just going to get to the end of the season, see what happens, see if we if we can grind out a few results, that would be good. But I don't think we will. I think maybe a draw tomorrow would be the best result I can predict, really. Um, I can't see us winning. Um, I think our overall you know i think our confidence is so low 
in the team and you know unless Ronaldo you know does a magic and gets gets us a couple of goals in tomorrow in yeah in tomorrow's game um then we could see we could you know we could if Ronaldo does his magic again you know get us a hat trick again or something and hopefully the defense will get us will keep the clean sheet or at least do something because we need to we need a we need that performance and i just hope that we will get a performance out of the united players tomorrow if not then you know there will be booze next thursday against chelsea and to be honest if the Liverpool game uh, on Sunday, no, sorry, on Tuesday, the Liverpool game was, you know, at Old Trafford, there would have been massive, massive boos and stuff like that. So uh, we need a massive game against Arsenal. And whether or not that happened, I'm not too sure. Uh, so for my score prediction, um, yeah, don't know. <laughs> 1-1 one, one draw, maybe, 2-2, two, two, something like that. Um, I could see goals in it. I could see goals in it. But I think I think United will be, uh, you, just, you know, just be United. Uh, you know, they'll concede a couple goals and then we'll probably score a couple goals as well. Um, so, you never know. You never know. I just hope United put a better performance than they did against Liverpool. And God hope that we don't see Harry Maguire. <laughs> in defense because he needs to be dropped for one game because he oh i hate watching it i hate watching him play it's he used to, he, he needs a game to rest i think he needs a game to rest and the game you know the game against liverpool didn't really help him and you know maybe lindelof and you know Vran and you know obviously tellez and uh obviously tellez and um Delo at right back will be the better option. Um, yeah, Delo uh, obviously Wamasaka as well. Wamasaka didn't do that bad against Liverpool, but he did quite bad. Uh, so yeah, uh, we just need to get if we can just nick it against Arsenal. I'd be happy to nick it and get a result, but I can't see it. I can see it being a draw or an Arsenal win. Um, I just can't see United winning at the moment. It's so. It's, you know, we're so poor at the moment. It's unreal. Uh, so anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it here for today. So please like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to leave your score prediction below. So right, guys, I'm going. Bye.